fish. It is a lovely sunny morning. Daddy Pig is driving to work in his car. Breakfast time, Goldie. Mummy Pig is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, Goldie isn't eating. Oh, maybe she's not feeling very well. Let's phone Dr Hamster the vet. Dr Hamster the vet speaking. Hello, Dr Hamster. Goldie the fish is not eating. And she looks sad. Oh, you better bring Goldie to see me right away. Oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody. <laughs> this is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at ten o'clock. What time is it now? Ten o'clock. Hooray! <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> <laughs> Hold tight! Mr Bull is waiting for the bus. Moo! One ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. Uh -oh. Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Madam Gazelle, we're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> Supermarket! Bye! Music show! Bye! Last stop, the vet! The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes, watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Ah. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are going home on the bus. Mr Bull is going home with his bended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes, it was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy, we want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK, we'll go on the bus. <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. <laughs> It is the end of another day at Peppa's playgroup. Children, tomorrow is talent day. What is a talent? A talent is something you like doing and you're good at. <laughs> I like to watch television and I'm good at it. Think of something we might like to see you do. 
My talent is playing the guitar. The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Don't forget to think of something to do for Talent Day tomorrow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. I can't go to bed yet. I haven't got a talent to show tomorrow. But you have lots of talents, Pepper. Yes, I can skip. I can sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can dance. It's hard to choose one talent. I am good at lots of things. Don't worry, you can decide tomorrow. OK. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. That's not a talent. Madame Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <coughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> And what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping. But I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh dear, dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? Peppa! I was going to skip or sing or dance, but they've all been done. A talent can be anything, Peppa. But not watching television. Think of something you really like to do. I know! I've got a talent that I'm really good at. I wonder what Peppa's talent can be. My special talent that I'm the best at in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Rabbit's helicopter. Pepper and her family have come to the summer fate. <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. <laughs> this is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. 
Never mind, I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Whee-hee! We're going up in the air! Yes! It can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! It can even loop a loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy! He's missing all the fun! Yes, poor Daddy! One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land now. Emergency, emergency. Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. <laughs> What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up. And down. And round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Great down recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello, fire service. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. <laughs> don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm... Flying. Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Yay! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Yay! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. <laughs> Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Granny Pig's chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Gangy-ing! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> this was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like your Mummy when she was little. Did Mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But Mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. When Mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! 
Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah. And he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes. It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro's cough. It is a school day. Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh, Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh, dear. Pedro has a cough. Not to worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> What seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Uh, it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. 
Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Pepper. Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <coughs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Mm. Uh. Oh. 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 It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear, Dr. Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr. Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her friends. It's Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Freddy. Freddy. Come on, let's cycle through the big hill. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad, have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. Or do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got... Everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad! 
Have you got a big shiny winner's cap for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't? Have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Ah, oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along too? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig, have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. Be the captain, please. Okay, but as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. 
she can get help. Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah! Uh, message to Granny? <sniffs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Pepper. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. <laughs> Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat to rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain. Aye, aye, Skipper. Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes. Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. I'm a clever parrot. <laughs> fun fair. Today, Pepper and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. George wants to go on the Helter Skelter. OK. See you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? OK. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. Win the giant teddy, Mummy. I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Peppa? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy. A giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Oh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. 
Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. No skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh, yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Zebra the Postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm. I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! One is still blinking. You're out. <laughs> You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. Yeah. Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel. Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. 
Edmund has won. Yeah! Mummy, past the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. This is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, Hi, Hi Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, two, three! <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Ah. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black... Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. 
Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly. And she was going, ah, help me, help me. And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Pepper. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well, mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> It has been very stormy weather, and the school roof is leaking. How can we raise the money to fix the school roof? We could have a fun run. <laughs> What's a funny run? It's a day for picnics and giving money to see people run. And the more money you give, the further they run. Good idea, Daddy Pig. How far can you run? What? Uh, well, I can run as far as you like. But, Daddy, you can hardly run at all. Nonsense. I'm an expert at running. Good. Does anyone else want to run? No, no thank, thank you. you. But I'll give money to see Daddy Pig run. Me too. And me. Excellent. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are eating spaghetti. <laughs> Delicious. Is there any more spaghetti? Daddy Pig, you've already had three helpings. Eating gives me energy. And I need energy for my fun run. You also need to practice running. What if I practice eating today, then practice running tomorrow? No, Daddy. You need to practice running now. Oh. Come on, Daddy. Race you. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. It is easy to run downhill. <sighs> it is hard to run uphill. I don't think I should have eaten so much spaghetti. It is the day of the fun run. Madame Gazelle has a chart to show how far Daddy Pig must run. If Daddy Pig can run to here... The supermarket. Then to here... My granddad's garage. And all the way to here... Windy Castle. Then we'll have enough money to fix the school roof. I'll do it now. Ready, steady, go! I did it! Now we can have the picnic. <laughs> Silly Daddy. That's just a drawing. Yes. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah! 
Get off! Get off! You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Oh! Daddy Pig <gasps> has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> Rabbit's Lighthouse. Pepper, George and Danny are having a day out on Grandad Dog's boat. Can we go to Pirate's Island today? Yes, Danny. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. Ahoy there, matey! I brought your supplies. Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. Danny, Pepper and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Oh. I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and... Uh, uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The, the sea, sea, the sky, the sea, sky, the sea. The here's sky. your cheese. Oh, I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round! <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbits. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not many places to hide on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. What's found you? Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George. <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. <sighs> My new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Do you know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry! Hooray! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Oh. Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, please. 
I got up this morning. Chloe's big friends. Pepper and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I love playing with big cousin Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe! Chloe! Oh, Chloe! Hi there. These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear. You can call me Si. It's short for Simon. And I'm B. It's short for Belinda. <coughs> I'm Pepper. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. <coughs> I'm not a baby. But you're both little. I'm a big girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? <coughs> yes, let's play hide and seek. We don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. <laughs> what about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <coughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Touch up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. no, no. no. What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> see Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Pepper. Can, can we come, come along too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Pepper and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. This rabbit's day off. Pepper, George and Susie Sheep have had a sleepover at Rebecca Rabbit's house. It's fun having carrots for breakfast, Mummy Rabbit. Yes, we always have carrots for breakfast. I could eat carrots all day, but I'd better go to work. <laughs> <laughs>
Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mummy Rabbit, why don't you work? I do work, Susie. Who do you think looks after these two little bunnies? You do, Mummy. <laughs> and you can help me by tidying up your toys, please, before someone trips over them. That'll be my sister. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Wow! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No. Oh, uh, you oh, stay here oh. and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK. Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. <laughs> Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus? Today? Of course, Pepper. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. <laughs> Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>